And that's highly unusual. It don't look like a factory job though. It looks like it was done at uh, like Z Bar or something when it was brand new. Rear frame rails, they'll usually uh, get rusty right where the rear shackles bolt on. They'll bubble up in the frame rails just forward of the rear shackle. And this one's in perfect shape. There's no rust at all. In right here on the frame rail itself where them bolts go through it it's double paneled in there and it usually is where the rust starts drop offs what i was talking about is these panels right here they actually tie to the bottom lower half of the quarter panel when the lower half of the quarter panel is rusted gone those are usually rusted gone right here where your front leaf spring bolt goes through usually not bad because they're galvanized from the factory so it takes a lot for them to be rusty if they are rusty the car's got rust everywhere your inner rocker panels are usually rusty on a convertible if you find a good one that's not rusty it's a solid car these are perfect and the floors are really nice in it they appear to be partially due to being in california and being undercoated as well so can you see where the original exhaust used to run Mm-hmm. When they undercoated the car, the exhaust was on it. Front frame rails here. You usually don't see much rust back in this section, but up in here you'll see some. These are in real good shape. Torque boxes, they're in real nice shape. Usually the torque boxes are, is one of the first things to go. See if it's been patched up before too, because they can patch the outside of those and you can't hardly tell it. But if you look up inside that frame rail through them access holes, those was actually factory tie down holes where they tied them down on the trucks. That's the big piece that goes all the way up to the top that your shock actually bolts into. A lot of times you'll see rust down at the very bottom of them where they're tied into the frame on either side. Transmission needs a little help. The pan's leaking and the servo's leaking a little bit. That's a servo. That's this vacuum port right here that mm, uses vacuum off the engine to shift the transmission from first to second to third. Shift linkage is leaking a little bit. I don't need an O-ring because that's all we need is a front and rear balance for sheet metal is the only thing it needs. Somebody hit something with it in the front up here. They put that new rocker panel molding on it, but they didn't have the fender straight out on the bottom and it wouldn't stay on there, so they put screws in it. This is a convertible floor pan, lower floor pan for a convertible. They put those on there and then they added this plate that ties the two together. This plate's bolted on to stiffen up the convertible chassis because it don't have the roof to stiffen it up. Same way with the inner rockers. Tube inner rocker that runs from the back, in the very back of the car all the way up to the front and then your floor pans and everything tied to that. But all the chrome and all the stainless trim and stuff for them, they don't reproduce it. So you either got to send your chrome out and have it re-chromed or hope you can find NOS stuff, which is expensive. All suspension stuff, all that stuff is over-the-counter stuff. You can buy at the local auto parts store. But I think we've seen all we need to see. Once all the chrome's off, then we'll take a steam cleaner and we'll steam clean the engine compartment and the bottom side of the car and really clean it up real good before we pull the front fenders and everything off.